Criticate! Okay. Hello! Welcome to the second episode of Criticast! <laughs> uh, Jacob, wow. how, how have you been the past week? I've been good, Nostalgia Critic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, I saw something on him. He was he he was gushing about Wonder Woman. Was he? Yeah. Okay. Which is nice. I mean, I'm glad. I'm all, I'm always glad when people are happy and mm-hmm. like things. Well, the thing about but, him is he loves strong female leads. Yes, like, and I do too. That that's what pissed me off about Wonder Woman. I I, don't, I feel like they they took a couple things away from her that could have made no. like it's a really good movie but no. they took a couple things away from her that could have pushed it even farther I think that they did everything perfectly balanced to make a fun superhero movie that empowered people and I, I love that I think they did a really really good job like better than better than most superhero movies for sure mm-hmm. but I, I you know I can't turn off the criticizing part of my brain and there's a couple things that they still and, and no one talks about I think I think the scene where she I guess we're talking about Wonder Woman. Now. Oh yeah, sorry. Uh, the, the scene where she rises from the trench is it's I believe, amazing, iconic. It's the it's one of the best scenes in almost all superhero movies. Exactly, because, I, I'd say it's one of my favorite scenes in any superhero. Movie. Yeah, uh, but there's there's things that I think the movie does that are around Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman is almost perfectly written. Yeah, I I, I don't want to say anything's. Anything perfect. Accent is perfect for it. Yeah, she sounds wonderful. The the things that I don't like are all the things that are around her, like the the cheesy. Uh, okay, I, I'm gonna spoil Wonder Woman. So if you haven't seen it, go see it. Uh, we're gonna put a timestamp <laughs> in the description. Sure. Uh, but the the whole twist about the the German not being Ares is they they work so hard at it, and it didn't fool me. It's it was so obvious, and I think that. They spend so much time trying to set it up that it takes away from the message of the film. I think it takes away from setting up some of what Wonder Woman is from the film. Well, I think I think it works well actually because it was predictable, but yeah. but the twist wasn't that necessarily. It was that he was the bad guy. He wasn't the bad guy, even though he was a bad yeah. guy. But the yeah. twist is that it, it lies in subtext where it turns out that Ares had an effect on Wonder Woman. Right, but they could have done that, I think, in a better way. That wasn't so... Trying to push so hard for this weird twist, this bad guy that you think is a bad guy isn't the bad guy. I think they could have given more uh, more to Dr. Poison. I agree. And, I and, agree. Like, I think that would have been... That would have pushed the point just as much. They could have had Ares and Dr. Poison taking out that guy completely and still had the whole see how humans are shit thing and not work so hard for a, a weird twist that everyone saw coming. I at least I saw coming. I, mean, at I don't want to say led everyone. To a sick ass uh, final sequence. Yeah, yeah, it did. A very um, powerful, lovely, lovely writing. Uh, fantastic movie. Very funny. <laughs> uh, I really like. I know, I know you do, and I do, I do too. I don't want to. I don't want to. I I don't hate it. I really okay, okay. like it. Uh, I just. There are flaws in it, and I think oh, everyone yeah. focuses so much uh, on how fantastic it is that they don't. Because uh, I've I've seen like comics and stuff from Wonder Woman that are just way better and, and tell better stories in a few panels I mean, than the entire movie did. Of course, there's going to be better comics than a superhero movie. That's kind of <laughs> just how they work. Well, no, <laughs> not necess- not not I mean, inherently. There are, there are movies that are better than their comic book counterparts. There are, for yeah. instance, Kick Ass. Yeah. I think I mentioned this on the show. <laughs> yes, Kick-Ass yeah. Kick-Ass Comic Sucks. Kick- oh, well, I haven't read it. But, yeah, I, I agree that Kick-Ass is a great movie, and I don't think it's necessarily a great superhero story. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. Um, either way, uh, welcome <laughs> to the Critic Yeah, cast. welcome. We'll talk about what we actually started. Well, whatever. It's a podcast. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> so so what's, new, uh, what, what's new with you this week? Uh, this week, I... I shut myself in my room and edited because we got because what we did, we, we recorded Splatoon last week, but we we were recording like a couple weeks ahead. So when when we did Splatoon, it was like four days until we had to put the episodes up. Yeah. <laughs> and then I was behind editing because I was sick the week before. So everything was like it was like I have to edit a fuck ton of episodes this week. 
Uh, and that was my week. <laughs> I bought a Nintendo Switch. Yeah. Yesterday I bought it. I actually awesome. spurred a lot by uh, by playing Splatoon yeah. on the show. Yeah, really? Yeah. Oh, nice. Uh, uh, I found one at my local <laughs> Best Buy, cool. and I bought it. I bought Splatoon. I bought ARMS. I bought Zelda. Mm. Uh, and here's my, my short one-sentence review of those games so far. Yeah. Splatoon is fun. It's no different, but it has a cool new wave mode that's super fun. Okay. Uh, ARMS is very, very basic, but it's, uh, it's fun at parties. and it's, You and think it's, it's basic? Oh, yeah, dude. There's, there's not much to oh, it. Oh, I don't think it's basic. Uh, and there's... Uh, it's fun to play with friends. The motion controls are fun. Playing yeah. with the controller is equally fun, which yeah. is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then uh, Zelda. Th- they need to add more to it. Oh, yeah. And then Zelda is fun, but Jesus, just stop pretending that we, anyone gives a fuck about the story of this game. Just let me get to the game more, please. Stop. Oh, uh, well, me in you, you're in the you're in the beginning, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's well, not stop cutscenes at the beginning. That is that changes real fast. Yeah. They 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 shove the cutscenes down in, in like the first few seconds, <coughs> or not few seconds, you know, the first couple hours, and then mm. you're like, well, you can do anything at that point. Let you're me tell just, you what's really fun. I was doing it this morning. Yeah. I was playing Arms on the on, hel- on the handheld mode yeah. watching Criticade. <laughs> uh, and it was awesome because I, I usually like to like fuck around on my phone. Yeah. Like I'll play little phone games on my phone. Right. Now I can just play my Switch. Yeah. Uh, when, I, when watching the episodes. And, and oh, Arms man. is such low thought that I just, it's fun. It's just fun <laughs> to do. It's, do you play online? No, I was just playing. I was just playing. Oh, memories. okay. Yeah, no, no. When you're playing That's against <laughs> other people, it's very intense. Yeah, I was like, it's not low thought online. <laughs> and and I, I had the difficulty cranked up a little bit on, yeah, on yeah. single player. Now sure, that sure. still that totally uh, it was a big <laughs> challenge to me. Yeah. Uh, but I love it. Uh, I'm yeah, really I, enjoying the Switch so far. Yes. Uh, I got I got 45 bucks off by signing up for a Best Buy credit card. Oh, nice. So, but and that that 45 bucks I'm gonna put to Mario Plus Rabbids next <laughs> month, baby. Really? Yeah, I'm so fucking excited. Next month, all of my money. I think it's next month. I think yeah. next month, uh, Danganronpa comes out in America. Wow. And I am pumped. No, this is the first time that like Danganronpa is not gonna be out. A year or two later from when its Japan releases. That, that makes sense. So, and I'm a huge fan of the series. Yes. So I've been meaning to play them. They're just way too expensive. Oh, they're they're really expensive. Is it um, a new game? But they're or like, like it's a... it's a new game. Oh, so cool. what they did is because it's a mystery genre, they were feeling bogged down by the whole continuity. So they they ended the storyline in the time period that it's usually in. And then they're like, we're going to skip ahead a lot of years. Totally new characters. Totally new story. We're going to keep our mascot, and that's fucking it. What is this? JoJo's <laughs> Bizarre Adventure? Kind of. I mean, oh, yeah. like, they share a lot of shit together. Yeah. Nice, nice. Yeah. So um, I, I'm super happy in putting my money on that. And then Kingdom Hearts is going to suck my money. Hmm. When, <laughs> in yeah, a few, yeah, yeah, uh, There's no release in date. Like a year? But like, it's not a year. It's the, they're, they said 2018, but I don't think that's... Early 2018. I think it's, th- it's going to be early 2018. I think it's going to be summer or December. Really? Yeah. Oh wow. I don't. I don't think that. It's either or. I, I, they're not going to release early. I don't think. Okay. I, I don't uh, well, think it's we'll, we'll see. Uh, because uh, they they haven't released any information mm-hmm. on the release date, so you know. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, Tatsuya Nomura, the director of Kingdom Hearts. Yeah. Uh, he did state that uh, he, he's really funny in interviews. Because yeah. he's he basically like, like all the interviews are like, when's Kingdom Hearts 3 coming out? And he's like, <laughs> ah, when my boss stops fucking me over. Yeah. <laughs> like, have, have you heard, okay, so, you know, uh, uh, A Song of Ice and Fire, Winds of Winter has been coming out for like three years now. Sure. Uh, George R. R. Martin was asked at the beginning of this year, when is when is Winds of Winter coming out? And he's like, in about a year. But I said that last year, too, so don't get your fucking hopes up. <laughs> <laughs> but but to see you know, Mora, he keeps talking about, like, it's all Square Enix's fault. Because yeah. he's like, uh, we, we could have knocked this out in a fucking year. They, they just decided, ah, they, fuck you, we're going to do Final Fantasy instead. No. Fuck you. <laughs> and then they took half of his team, and then they're like, yeah. Now, now they're going full force on Kingdom Hearts. So I Good. assume that I assume it'll be summer 2018. Good, maybe I, I don't know, but I'm glad that they didn't because I, I we've never talked about this on the show, but I really dislike Kingdom Hearts 2. I love it. And I replayed it recently and I thought, "Wow, I like this less than I thought." I thought really? it was going to yeah. I thought it was going to like it more, but it was I I played the entire game, the entire series through on proud mode and mm-hmm. I'm still on Dream Drop Distance. Um but I, even on proud mode, I should have done critical for Kingdom Hearts 2 because that game is notoriously easy. 
but it's ridiculously ridiculously easy on proud even and yeah i I should have done critical i considered doing it for birth by sleep thank god i didn't because that game is a lot harder no dude all you gotta do is spam shot lock yeah, but if you want, to, <laughs> if you want to have fun, <laughs> well, no, just when you get to the really hard bosses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For once, bosses, you have to do. Yeah, it's, well, that's that's a lot of my problem with, because a lot of the bosses in Birth by Sleep are all the way to beat them is just defense. Yeah, only which is Pretty not much. defense only is not a not fun. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, <laughs> to get on to the main point yeah. of the episode, uh, uh, Jacob was like, "We're not going to do a uh, podcast this week," and I said, "All right, no. um, unless we had a good idea." <laughs> what I said was, "We don't have to do one every week. It's not like a thing where we will be just like, oh God, what are we going to talk about on the podcast this week?'" That's fair. Like we just we can if we have an idea. <laughs> yeah. So I had an idea based on a, a thing I did with my girlfriend recently, where where we were on a date, and I looked up uh, questions to ask on a first date, just to like. Have like interesting fun facts to know about yeah. each other. So uh, it was really fun. It led to a lot of banter. Mm-hmm. So uh, so Jacob and I are going to do that today. Cool. So I got I got an article. Uh, uh, stylecaster.com if you want to sponsor the show. Uh, that would be, like, <laughs> be lovely. Uh, 40 first questions dates that will get you, get you poon or whatever. Anyone, if you want to sponsor us, please. 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 <laughs> Blue Crate. Please. Blue Apron. <laughs> please. It's audible. Uh, so... Question number one. Sure. What do you do, and how long have you done it? Like, uh, for work? Yeah. Uh, I I work at my mom's business. Um, I, you I, do? Yeah, I, I can't say the name. Well, yeah, um, of course. But uh, I, I, I work, it, it teaches music lessons, and I work managing all of the, uh, the other stuff, like scheduling teachers, uh, doing pay, uh, doing paychecks, um, working the the desk sometimes, moving equipment, all that fun stuff. And I've been doing it actually since I was six, uh, fifteen. Six. Wow. Well, since almost, I was six. Kind of actually, because my mom started doing private lessons. Oh, ch- child labor. Uh, well, I was just her kid, and it wasn't a, a business yet. But yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but when it was a business, I was too young to work, but I still worked there. Because gotcha. it was a family business, it was it was allowed. Yeah, kind of. So, that's boring. So, what I do... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, tell us about your super exciting job, Robert. I sell coffee at a Starbucks. <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> How, How do you deal? Uh, <laughs> uh, let me tell you. I'm good with customers. I give them the best drink recommendations. Listen, if you're listening to this podcast, let me tell you. Iced white mocha soy milk macchiato with caramel on top, extra caramel. Get it. That's what wow. I had right before I recorded this. That's why I'm so full of pep. And not, uh, that sounds terrible. Oh, it's I'm not awesome. gonna lie. I fucking love it. I only drink black coffee. Oh, that's black coffee's delicious. <laughs> I like how I made my drink as white as possible. Yeah. <laughs> uh, In both ways. <laughs> yeah. So that's that's what we do. Yeah. That's 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 our jobs. Mm-hmm. Uh, where are you originally from? Uh, Chicago land area. Same here. Yeah. We, we were both born here, <laughs> both, both raised we're here. Both bo- we went to the here. same high school. We both boned here. I actually, <laughs> <laughs> I actually, I, when I went to college in, uh, Chicago, they, there was a girl there who I met who got angry whenever like someone from the suburbs would say that they're from Chicago. I get angry at that. Really? I think that's super obnoxious and annoying. What? But it's the best. Cause like, if you say you're from I guess you could say it's Chicagoland area to, like, people out of state. Yes. But most people don't give a fuck about anywhere that's not a big city. Yeah, so if you, if you like, walk in, like, like the people that often say, I'm from Chicago, and they're, like, from two hours out, they're the people that go into Chicago wearing backpacks with, like, a big group of their white friends and walk around <laughs> town, like, like misty-eyed. Jesus, and like, that's so the judgmental. big apple. That's so judgmental, I've man. made it. New York. And they're, like, in Chicago, and they're, like, <laughs> fuck you. That's so judgmental. It, the, the, it's demonstrably I have true lived, based on my I life. have lived in the city, and I've lived in the suburbs, and let me tell you, people are shitty everywhere. <laughs> So don't fucking get all high and mighty. You know, it does not matter. Although, that said, I do hate tourists. Oh, yeah. Tur- the tourist season was the worst well, that's the in thing. Chicago. If we but went if you're to not Chicago, living in the city, who most gives a fuck? A lot of friends, we, not 
our friends really. But I know a lot of people that would go to Chicago and be the, tourists even though they live an hour away. The reason I hate tourists is because they affected me personally. Like whenever there was a Cubs game, I lived uh, I lived off the red line. Oh, no. So every time there was a Cubs game, it took me an hour longer to get home. And that's why I hated tourists. I don't give a fuck if you want to go and, and see, you know, fucking – whatever the yeah the bean oh my god uh <laughs> one of my favorite things to do is go to high school well, when i was in high school not anymore uh but uh, go to high school art shows and go to the photography section and look at all of the pictures of the bean uh and just count them <laughs> and take a shot every time you take alcohol into a high school and you drink yeah. <laughs> i mean there's yeah there's a lot it's a joke i didn't actually because uh well no but like the bean is is the newest Chicago does not have a lot of recognizable landmarks. We've got the Art Museum. We've got Navy Pier. You've got... Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's about it, the bean. So, like, it, it's, it's, really, it's really the only And we've got Hamilton. Thing. What? We've got Hamilton. Oh, now, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like, that's He's a show. here. He lives here. That's a here. show about someone living in New York. I'm like, <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? He moved into my apartment. <laughs> A line from that show is that New York is the greatest city in the world. <laughs> <laughs> what, if, what if they brought it when they brought it to Chicago? Like, <laughs> the greatest city in the world, world Chicago. Chicago. They're like holding up yeah. a Cubs hat. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right, uh, where did you go to school? Uh, oh, this, uh, yeah, I went to DePaul University uh, out of high school, and I went there to study uh, computer game design mm-hmm. and with a focus on computer science because that's what I, I really want to program, but I, I wanted to also do game design. Because it's fun. No, <laughs> <laughs> uh, because I like it and yeah. I've been doing it for a while, but cool. like game design is not the same as like playing a game. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know, but like we had a lot of people in like game design classes who were like, oh man, I just want to have fun. This is a blow off class. And I'm oh, like, no. I'm trying to think of how games affect people and psyche and how a game is fun. And you're, I don't know, jerking Making it. Minecraft sex mods. In yeah, the pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> so like, uh, yeah. Uh, but then I, I dropped out for uh, mental health reasons, uh, which were unfortunate and sad. And then I went to um, <laughs> County College to try and finish up some of my gen ed. Uh, and then move on to U of I if we I ever do that. Might want to beep out the name of our community college. Cause oh that's a yeah, close. sorry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a it's a community college. Yeah, we yeah. both. We, that's where we met. Yeah. we mentioned that. Yeah, on last episode of Criticast. If yeah. you haven't checked that out, check it out. We we give it. We go really in depth on analysis on of why Sonic. Sonic Adventure Two is the worst game ever. <laughs> and we're also going to name the episode "Is Sonic Adventure Two the Worst Game Ever?" <laughs> for clickbait. And so I went to to the same high school as Jacob, but not at the same time. Mm-hmm. Uh, cause he's an old man and I'm a little tiny baby. I am f- four or five years, five older, years than older than me. Four years older than me. Not really. You're like, you're like two, two months down from being five years. Oh, okay. Yeah. But you know. Yeah. So, uh, and, uh, then I went to the same community college as Jacob and mm-hmm. I am now transferring cause I am just a little 20 year old boy. Uh, transferring over to uh, Columbia College, Chicago, Ugh. Uh, which will be fun. Fuck you. <laughs> is there, there's a whole DePaul and Columbia Yeah, thing. I know. And there's also, like, uh, I also almost went to Columbia, too, because gotcha. they have a game design program. But there's, see, the, the reason I went, I wanted DePaul over Columbia was because Columbia's is all about, like, you're making a game, and let's just doodle, and we'll make a platformer that's really fun and kitschy. And, like, DePaul's was like, here's how you do 3D modeling and code an entire game from scratch. Gotcha. And I'm like, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll go with the mm-hmm. one that makes games and not art projects. Definitely different move. programs have their strengths. Like, uh, Columbia has better acting, better film. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, for sure. As, better performance arts. Uh, yeah. Than DePaul. DePaul is better for animation, game design, well, stuff like that. And don't, most everything. Else. I had a lot of actor friends for, in DePaul. Oh yeah, no, really no. Good. Th- there are there are there is a good acting program at yeah. DePaul, but Columbia's is better. That's why I went there. I researched. Yeah. So next, uh, <laughs> uh, we just answered what were our majors. Uh, mine's acting. Uh, I mentioned that in the last episode, so right. the, uh, we'll skip that question. Um, what do you like to do when you're not working? Masturbate. Yep. Also, uh, I like to. I, I really like to play games, and I'm writing scripts. And uh, I've if I can, good. yeah, if I can, I, I finished two more episodes. Oh, oh, actually, I'd love to read those. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm 
I don't want people to read them yet. I, I want to... Shop I'm letting them. one of them, yeah, I'm letting one of them gestate and just see how it is. There's structural issues in the third one, Okay. Uh, but that's boring shit. I, I'm also, <laughs> if I can get the time up, I have a game project that I really want to work on. Um, it's called Dream to, Mommy. <laughs> no, God forbid. <laughs> no, uh, this one actually, I usually set my sights really, really high. Like, um, like a Minecraft sex mod or dream mod. No, like the last. Well, I, I did the make a Minecraft. <laughs> I did make a Minecraft mod, uh, but it was and it was really in depth and it was it, it got really behind the scenes and everything, and that was a pain in the ass. Uh, and then the last game I made from scratch, I built the entire engine from scratch, like the the all the packet sending and the multiplayer and the movement system and the button system. Like I, I coded it from scratch cool. <laughs> and that's way har- way harder than it needs to yeah, be yeah <laughs> that sounds really difficult and i can't actually and wrap my mind around it it's it's super i i shouldn't have done that <laughs> it's a bad idea so i'm just going to use game maker and make a, a fun little rpg game uh i listen to percy jackson the lightning thief the musical in my free time and that's oh, yeah. all i do that's not all you do. <laughs> do God forbid. Uh, if you haven't listened to The <laughs> actually, Lightning Thief, the musical. I actually really like the idea of you just like sitting in a room 24-7 with that playing in the background. And then you're like, oh shit, it's time for Criticate. <laughs> <laughs> and then you come here. <laughs> it's the worst musical. It's Everything really that could bad. possibly go wrong with a musical it's goes wrong in the first really song. Bad. I highly recommend you listen to the first song called Pro. Log slash the day I got expelled from Percy Jackson and musical. I haven't read. I I kind of I want to read Percy Jackson now, because uh, I've never read it. The the first few aren't great, but I'm sure. But from what I gathered from the musical, it's just the story of um, Harry Potter. No, no, uh, the real Greek myth of uh, per uh, the Odyssey. No, oh, shit, Perseus? I can't remember. Yeah, Perseus. That's it. Well, yeah, it's just Perseus. Yeah. <laughs> like literally, where like he he fights the Minotaur in the book. Yeah, he fights Medusa. Mm-hmm. Like it's it's. And in the second one, he goes on the Odyssey. Uh, you mean the, the second the second Percy Jackson book? He goes on like the Odyssey. Like he goes Homer's... on the Odyssey, or or he goes on the Argo. No, he go he goes on the because Perseus basic goes plot to points of the Odyssey book. No, no, no. I, I I'm not saying I don't believe you. I'm saying like. My confusion comes from why the writer would do that, because Perseus went with the Argonauts, so why wouldn't he write a story like that? Uh, or is that in the first book? Do they? Do because they... it's not about... It's He's not Perseus. He's just a kid with the name Percy, and he basically just goes on but it's basic literally rip-offs. Point, but it's literally point for point Perseus' story. Yeah, the first book is. And so why wouldn't one... the second... But the, his Perseus' most famous journey past his own is him and the Argonauts. Jacob, I've read the first book and a half. I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they I don't know. I'm just Argonauts confused. And, and he does, he, he is on uh, hanging, he does something with Jason in this book. Okay. So so they're, they're I, I'm one and a half books okay. in, my girlfriend really likes him. That's just dumb. Whatever, Percy Jackson the musical, it's really sure. bad, listen to it. Also, it's why? It's just a Harry Potter ripoff, whatever, fuck you. Next. It's actually just Greek myth ripoff. Greek myth the ripoff mixed <laughs> with Harry Potter. At least Harry Potter is an original fucking story. Like it, like it's an original concept. It's based off of myths and shit. Well, but yeah. she makes shit up herself, mm-hmm. which is you know, yeah, good writing. <laughs> <laughs> nah, they're fine. Whatever. I haven't read them. Yeah. I, I should give them more of a chance. But yeah, you're gonna hate the first couple. I'm of gonna books. hate them because I really love Greek myth. I took a Greek mm-hmm. myth course at at our college. Oh, sick. and I took one in high school, and I like I fucking love the Iliad so much. I love the and, Iliad, the, Odyssey. and the Odyssey. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, we also read the um, the Siliad, the parody of. I can't remember the the name of it, but it's like the the sequel to the Trojan War, where they they found Rome and everything. Uh, the Trojan it. War two. No nope. Trojan Strike Back. Nope, that's not it. Although that is my favorite. <laughs> that's my favorite <laughs> sequel naming trope. Yeah. Uh, blank Strikes Back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Electric Boogaloo is worn out. <laughs> to throw it away. That my other favorite one is um, the Reblankening. We're like you just take yeah. the, <laughs> the read Trojan. Yeah, in, just putting on another condom. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Are you more of a TV person or do you prefer movies? Uh, TV. Uh, same here. Yeah, I, I watch like movies a lot. I like movies a lot, but I think TV really lets, like, you can tell longer stories and and you can have longer story arcs. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's that lends to better storytelling than than a, a movie. Where sometimes bad movies, the most 
the the things that usually make them suffer is the fact that they can't tell all the story that they want to. They have to cram shit in. And I feel that TV doesn't have that problem as much. I, I agree. I, I also feel like uh, uh, there's a big problem with TV where um, a lot of networks require certain episode lengths per season. So it's like certain seasons, mm. a lot of seasons need 24 episodes. Yeah. And every single show that has 24 episodes per season uh, suffers from that. It oh, is, yeah. They they can't write enough. It's it's well, always ends up kind of being worse for it. There's only one show that I can think of that doesn't. Is it Futurama? No, Futurama oh. has their has their really bad episodes that has filler. It's um it's Avatar the Last Airbender, which I've Cause they, never seen. They they take filler and then they usually use it like for uh you know, you know, clip episodes where like people they, yeah. they just take yeah, yeah, yeah. hash ups and shit. They actually did their own original clip episode that rehashes everything from the last season, animate completely new stuff, add a completely new story to it. Like they 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 never half ass anything on that mm-hmm. show. Uh and that's it's fantastic. Uh something I admire about anime mm-hmm. is that which is a weird, weird start to the sentence, <laughs> uh, especially regarding what you just said. Yeah. I understand that Avatar is an anime, people. Don't mm-hmm, worry. Mm-hmm. Uh, I One thing I admire about anime is they're usually just as long as they need to be, and then they're over. And I love that. Unless they're one of those animes, um, which they <laughs> last 900 episodes and yeah. never stop. And, like, I'm thinking of, of, like, Dragon Ball Z or Naruto or Bleach. Like, yeah, those no, are not as long as they need to be. Good anime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, for sure. Although, I guess... I guess, like, SAO is definitely hmm. – it's not good, but it's not good for the reason we just said. Like, they, they go longer than they need to. Uh, yeah. The, that first arc where he's he's just in the video game and he could die is really good. And then it just – God, it's so bad after true, that. True, uh, well, what What's your favorite TV show and what's your favorite movie? Oh, man. Favorite TV show is really hard because I, I like I know you a really like Futurama. Of a lot I, of times I I've do asked really this question like and Futurama. you say Futurama. I do say, I say Futurama, but I don't know if it's my... It's, it's definitely one of my favorite shows, but if it's my all-time favorite, I have no idea. All right. I like... Uh, my, my my favorite TV show. I I don't really have like all time favorite TV shows. Really, I, sure. I have seasons that I love. Okay. Uh, I'd say my closest thing to my favorite TV show would be Scrubs. Uh, Scrubs is amazing. Scrubs used to be my favorite TV show. Everything about Scrubs, aside from season seven, is bad. <laughs> and season nine, but I don't really count that. Season nine is really bad. Season seven. Season, season seven, seven suffers because one. of the writer strike. But I, I don't th- think, I think it, it's actually bad. I don't think it's actually bad. Mm-hmm. I, I think they. They Luckily, didn't do as like, well as other shows. It's really short. It's yeah, really, really, really it's short. Really short. And thank goodness, because it, it's mediocre to okay uh, throughout the whole season. I don't think there's really a good one in the bunch. But think, then season eight recovers hard. And I think that got could canceled find. because of season <laughs> seven. Uh, I think that there's a couple episodes that are sal- worth that could be salvaged from Scrubs, and I think that there's some story arcs that I wish I had seen play out. Oh, uh, I agree. But. You know. um, my favorite movie is Alien. Uh, I've said that yeah. on the show before. Yeah, I yeah. love, love Alien. Uh, I believe, I believe it to be objectively a perfect film with no flaws. I don't think anything like that exists. Exactly. You've you've said that before. Yeah, you've said I these, know. These exact things on the show. What's your favorite movie? I don't know. Uh, man, favorites uh, but, are hard. Fuck sluts go nuts. Nine. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> my favorite film is. Oh, I don't here have, comes the nut six. I don't. I don't have. I. I can't. I don't know. I don't think I can finish that. Gangnam sometimes. Style titties thirty. I think that movies are a lot harder for me to to say definitively. This is my favorite movie. Yeah, I actually. Oh, don't you watch know movies. what? I only watch films. Actually, I. I no, I, I can't pick. I can't pick a favorite Star Wars even. Okay. So I, I. Yeah, I don't know. Just name 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 any movie that you like. Hurry. Well, I, Five seconds. <laughs> uh, I like Empire Strikes Back. There and, we go. And Boom. Favorite movie. Return. Let's go. It's not my favorite movie, though. It's not the best movie I've ever seen. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it's not even my favorite Star Wars. Yeah? What's your favorite Star Wars? The first one? one. The first one. I, uh, a New Hope. I do think that... Uh, a New Hope is fantastic. I yeah. actually do think uh, Empire Strikes Back is better. The, the story structure of... Uh, see, the thing is, Empire Strikes Back has way better directing, way better special effects, uh, way better acting, because it has way better directing, and it has a worse story. And I think that Star Wars, the first Star Wars has one of the best story structures of any movie, and yet 
it has uh, it suffers from from the cheap budget that it was built on. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and I think I that's why most that. people are like, I think that's why most people are like, Empire's the best Star Wars. I'm like, no, it's <laughs> it's the it's the best funded, it's the best directed. Because Star need Wars to was huge. All of the movies again. We should. We should. We should we do should. a marathon. That'd be fun. We should, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, especially before Last Jedi. Oh. Oh. Ugh. Oh. What type of music are you into? Oh. I'm into Daisy Ridley. Uh. <laughs> I really into Daisy Ridley's music. <laughs> <laughs> I really like. Um, I really like shitty electro music, <laughs> like <laughs> electronic music. Why? I'm not even kidding. I don't know. I just <laughs> do. Yeah. Like a like a fucking like a like a. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> I just I subconsciously just did. I like to move it, move it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I like a lot of uh, a lot of people do remixes and shit on YouTube, and I love that stuff when it's good. When when it's bad, it's some of the worst music I've ever heard. <laughs> yeah. But <laughs> uh, how about you? I really like. Uh, I don't listen to music. Uh, that's a weird wow. fact about me. <laughs> uh, weird fact about me. Uh, you just uh, said you listen to Percy Jackson. That's music. Constantly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I, I I don't listen to music in my free time. I listen to podcasts. Uh, yeah, so yeah, I'll, okay. I'll say a couple of my favorite podcasts. Sure. Uh, which I said a couple of these already on Sonic, but yeah. fuck you, whatever. Who gives a shit? Uh, I really like Filthy Casuals, a gaming podcast starring Ben Vernell, Adam Knox, and Tommy Dasselow. I like uh, of The Weekly Planet with Nick Mason and Mr. Sunday Movies. Hmm. I like uh, fucking Super Mega Cast starring the my favorite <laughs> boys from Super Mega. Who? Uh, Super <laughs> Mega is my favorite YouTube channel. And they're good boys. I'm kidding. Uh, and Jesus. I like... I like the uh, Amazing Spider Talk podcast, which is a, a really? <laughs> podcast for all things Spider-Man from two, from two collectors and lifelong fans, and they, they go really in-depth, and they're very, very passionate okay. about it. It's, fant- it's a great, great listen, and they're so passionate. I really well, admire that. Well, uh, you mentioned your favorite podcast. I'll mention mine. Um, Welcome to Night Vale, which I haven't listened to in forever, but has a, it's like a really well done – it's actually a story, um, but it's told from the perspective of a – Radio show that's done in the fictional fictional town of Night Vale, with um, uh, which has a bunch of creepy shit that goes on. It's basically like Creepy Pasta, the radio show. Oh and shit! It's you really fun. You know what we should watch? What that Creepy Pasta TV show? It Is was that on, a thing? it was on Sci Fi. It's called uh, Channel Zero. Oh okay. Uh, they just they just adapt Creepy Pastas into like American Horror Story esque oh. arcs. The first one is uh, uh, do you remember Crystal Cove? That creepy oh pasta. Yeah. yeah! They did an adaptation of Crystal Cove for their first season. Oh, okay, that's yeah, we cool. We should watch that. Yeah, we should. I mean, I, I'm actually, I don't know how it is. I'm actually curious to huh. see how it is. I'm not just making fun of it, <laughs> uh, which seems like something I would do. Yeah, uh, if you know me. But um, <laughs> uh, the, okay, I just want to mention one more pa- podcast. Um, uh, Drive to Work with Mark Rosewater. What's that? Uh, Mark Rosewater is the lead game designer for Magic: The Gathering. Oh, and he the the card game Magic the Gathering. I said, "Oh, boring." Oh no, it's not because <laughs> he's he's like he's one of my favorite game designers. He is incredibly smart when it comes to that and and to games and communication that games allow uh, because he's a communications major and he's really smart. And I learned a lot of from game about game design from him. Interesting. Yeah, well, that's good. Um. Uh, I will shout out a band that I like. I do like mm. The Darkness, but only their first album. Uh, if you don't know what The Darkness is, do you remember that song in the early thousand that was like, I'm living in think of love? Uh, that's yeah. them. Um, okay. Their first album, <laughs> Permission to Ride, is a perfect album if you really like some just powerful-ass, falsetto-ass voice and hard-ass music. Sure. It's super fun. Oh, you know what else I like? I really like rap uh, because, like, I don't know. I, I like things that are uh, upbeat and uh, get you pumped. And nothing gets you pumped like fucking rap music. I enjoy rapping more than I enjoy listening to rap. <laughs> really? Yeah, I love rapping. It's fun. Well, yeah, I like rapping too when I'm alone. But <laughs> it's it's. I think it's more fun to listen to because it just gets you so fucking Little jacked. Little fact about me. I'm actually pretty decent at rapping. Yeah? That's a, that's a um, weird fact about me. It's because I'm... <laughs> I, I enunciate really well. Yeah. And I have a very unique voice. So uh, when I go on a track, I just I, I kind of up my voice a little bit, mm. and then I just go hard on the beat. It's, it's, it's like Lin-Manuel Miranda. It, it, I have a very similar kind of, not like vibe, because I don't actually write it. <laughs> but like if I'm yeah. rapping a song of his, I have a very similar vibe to right. him. Right, and that's why, because like, I, can, I can 
rap, air quotes, because I don't fucking... I don't write that shit. So it's not the same thing to me as someone who actually writes rap and yeah. lives that shit. Like, saying the words on the beat and, and saying them with uh, enunciation and with with style, that's all good. But if you don't write it, I don't consider that rapping. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I've written a little bit in my own rap before. Okay. Uh, because I um, I have a friend that's a very talented yeah. amateur yeah. Uh, SoundCloud rapper. Uh, look up uh, XD on SoundCloud. Uh, <laughs> EX space D. Not the not the fucking not, emoticon. Not the face. Uh, <laughs> or, or the Pokemon game. Or yeah, or the Pokemon <laughs> game. Uh, he's very talented, and I his new album came out, and I was like, that seems easy, and I just wanted to, to like, really. <laughs> so I wrote a diss rap about him. Sure. Uh, I actually didn't finish it. Uh, I don't know if I'll ever finish it, but it's really fun to write rap music. Also, super hard. Nice. Yeah. We should do a rap video. I just thought. Yeah. Like Blonde <laughs> That'd Boys. Be fun. Yeah. Yeah. If you haven't listened to Blonde Boys, check it out. It's uh, it's by uh. Uh, Cinda, Cinda, Cindigo. Oh yeah, Cindigo Productions. Check it out. It's on YouTube. There you go. There you go, guys. Yeah, Super y- Mega. We just threw you a little bone there. Have <laughs> 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 you traveled anywhere cool lately? Slash, do you have any uh, trips coming up? Uh, no and no. Same. Uh, actually, I went to Texas. <laughs> you went to Texas, yeah. But uh, I I just kind of was hung out with family. I watched Castlevania on Netflix. I really liked Neat. it. Uh, you know, when you go to Texas and you watch Netflix. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> fuck, I didn't, I didn't do any of that. I, I, sure. I, I saw this thing called Comedy Sports in San Antonio. If you live in the San Antonio area, yeah. Wh- how did you find the show? <laughs> uh, <laughs> tell everyone you know about. Yeah, us. if you live in Texas, <laughs> tell everyone. Uh, I saw this cool thing called Comedy Sports, which is like competitive improv, mm. which I thought was super fun and funny. Yeah. Uh, and I saw Spider-Man: Homecoming there nice. Uh, nice. for my first time. I've seen it twice. Loved the movie. Yeah. Uh, and I went to a drive-through safari where you like just drive in your car and there's a fucking giraffe and he oh, kisses neat. you or whatever. That's cool. This is kind of cool. Whatever. Yeah. None of the animals were out. It was too hot. Fuck it. Sure. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I was. The next question is: Have you read any good books lately? But I'm gonna skip that because neither of us know how to read. Wha- um, what? <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Uh, is that just me? Jacob? Yeah. <laughs> oh no. I actually was. Uh, the last thing I read, I was. I don't read much, but I was rereading um, a series of unfortunate events because ah. those books are fucking awesome. Uh, I, I actually read a read every day. It's a little something called the Bible. I actually, I do read it. the news every day, but that's not a that's book. That's not the – why did <laughs> – <laughs> Well, like I said, I don't read often. It's like I do. I, I read shit all the time, mm-hmm. but I don't sit down and read books. I don't. I don't actually read the Bible every day. I'm not. I'm not a Christian. I just Whoa, wanna... that's crazy. that's controversial. You don't read the yeah. It's it's controversial that you don't read the Bible every fucking day. <laughs> yeah, I don't read the Bible to completion. No every night one does bed. that. <laughs> There's someone in this world that reads the Bible to completion every single day. Not to completion. I guarantee you can't do it. There's someone who has lived on this planet who has read the Bible no, to completion every you single day. Can't do it. It's not possible. I'm telling you that the Bible is longer than 24 hours. You could not read it. Well, not out loud <laughs> slowly. They speed read it. Doesn't matter. You can't read it that fast. You dare me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, read the Bible every single day for a week and then tell me that it's possible. <laughs> what if I come What if I come to a to Criticade next week and I'm just quoting the Bible every sentence because I've erased You shaved your head and you're wearing like monk's robes. <laughs> I, it's like that SpongeBob episode where he forgets everything but fine dining and breathing, except yeah. I forget everything except for the teachings of <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, okay, what's the next question? <laughs> yeah. I actually, okay, first before that, I actually do read a lot of comic books. Uh, yeah. Not recently, uh, but I've been really into Exo Manowar by Jim Shooter uh, mm-hmm. from the early 90s. Very good. Sure. Uh, check that out. Uh, are you a cat person or a dog person, Jacob? Uh, I like all animals, but I prefer dogs. I like pussy. I don't like cats, and I'm saying. What's the next question? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. I like cats and dogs. I don't yeah. actually care. Uh, I have no preference. Uh, I like dogs because they're happier. They're, they're Yeah, it depends on the dog. I guess. Because my dogs are demon spawns from hell. Oh, jeez. And they hate each other. Shit. Uh, my my, my friend, sucks. other Jacob, he, he watched my dogs while I was in Texas, and he kept, he was like, I was like, you're going to hate these dogs by the end of this. And he was like, no, I'm going to love them. He's like, <laughs> cuddling them. And um, day six, he sends me a text. Your fucking shit goblins <laughs> are shitting on the fucking floor. Whoa. Okay. They won't stop screaming. Jeez. <laughs> it's great. 
Wow. <laughs> yeah, I love. I that hate my sucks. dogs. Sucks. They're pieces of shit. Jeez. Um, if you could eat one thing for the rest of your life, what would it be? Pussy. Not dick. <laughs> Sorry, what's the real question? <laughs> if you could eat pussy for the rest of your life every yeah. day, would you? Yes. Uh, Ugh, I hate one the ravenous th- subtext. Yes. <laughs> like, yes. Uh, the one food for the rest of my life. You can't do that. I fucking you get sick of it. Give me a give me a Arby's roast beef sandwich, baby. <laughs> <laughs> That's the closest thing to a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of pussy. It's a little bit pussy like, but it's not the closest. <laughs> You get some Arby sauce in there and you put it in the mic. I'm I, not gonna say that. <laughs> I uh, I saw a comedian. I was I saw a comedian online. I fuck. I wish I could remember her name. I'll I'll look her up and I'll I hope to put her name up on the screen. Uh, but she does. She's a lesbian and she does a joke about how straight girls are sick of guys and like how they want to date lesbians and they're. She has an underrated joke where she's like, well, whatever, you know, straight girls like clams, so maybe it's the same thing. They can make the switch over. <laughs> it got zero laughs, but I'm like, oh, shit, that's hilarious, and no one's laughing. I really like seafood. <laughs> <laughs> I do, too. And honestly, probably, great. like, like one food, and I'm, I'm kind of twisting it a little bit, Yeah. but you can make mussels in a bunch of different ways, and I fucking yeah. love yeah, mussels, dude. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Put that shit in my mouth hole. <sighs> Kill yeah. me until I die okay. from mussels. Okay. Do you have any nicknames? Uh, I have, yeah. Uh, there was a girl in college who called me J-Lo. There was <laughs> friends in, well, because <laughs> I, I, I respond to most names that begin with J, and she's like, can I call you anything? Could I call you J-Lo? I'm like, sure. And so that's what that is. I love that. Yeah. Uh, in um, high school, everyone found out my middle name was John, and so they called me JJ for a week. And I hate that. That sounds annoying. Yeah. People sometimes call me Jake because they don't know I prefer Jacob. Um, I think that's it. Uh, nicknames more. I'm called. Uh, go away. Uh, stop hanging out with us. We don't actually like you. Uh, you're ugly. I call you that one a lot. Okay. <laughs> uh, no, but seriously, I... Uh, you know, you know how it's funny uh, when, when, when uh, Let's Player says they don't like it when someone does something, then everyone in the comments does it. Yeah, uh, it's not funny. <laughs> yeah, it's not. It's not funny to call me Bobby or Robbie. Uh, oh yeah, because those names will you will not get a fun reaction out of me. Right, you will just make me instantly I, uncomfortable in an unfunny way. I lucked out because I have this thing with people where I only call them the name that I'm introduced. Uh, to them as Good. That, and, and you introduced you, <laughs> you introduced yourself to me as robert <laughs> yeah and everyone else i know called you bobby for a long time Thank, until yeah. until you made the switch Be- because because but I, I don't was in, I, I that's what people called me in high school and it's hard. yeah i didn't even try to get people to switch while i was in high school right so when sure, i got sure. to community college that was what i did yeah and by everyone you mean literally our one friend that went to high school with me <laughs> no most people called you bobby when we first when we first were uh, Hanging out, really? Yeah. That's annoying. I don't even remember that. Well, I mean, that's what I remember. It wasn't until a little bit later when when people made the conscious effort to call you Robert. Oh, yeah. Um, but don't call me Bobby. Me. Yeah. Uh, it's it's it. I'm I'm serious. It won't be funny. No, like, it won't. Th- be funny. It's not funny at all. Uh, uh, you can call me Rob. Uh, you can call me. You Rob. can call him Dick Sucker Supreme. Oh, I I also go by the nickname <laughs> uh, X. Like uppercase X, lowercase X, sixty nine, lowercase X, uppercase X. Uh, that's my Xbox gamer tag. Go ahead and hit me up. Uh, it's not actually, and uh, I apologize for whoever you find if you add that gamer tag. Do you think there's someone out there who still has that? Of course, who there still is. uses that? Yes. Really? Yeah, they play really? Call of Duty every week, and they play Call of Duty <laughs> Zombies, and they're really looking forward to Call of Duty World War Two. No one is. Uh, my friend Damn Noah it. is. Really? Yeah, he's really excited. Wow. He he like. Uh, I'm in a group chat with him. No, yeah. wait, you're in the group I'm in the chat. Group chat. You're in the same group chat. Yeah. He shared the Call of Duty. Oh, no, it's a different group chat. Oh, okay. He shared the Call of Duty World War II zombies trailer, and he's like, fucking hype. And I was like, <laughs> and I literally responded. I was just like, no one gives a fuck now. <laughs> Which yeah. is funny because Noah watches the show. And oh, okay. Likes it. Yeah. Cool. Uh, so fuck you, Noah, if you're watching. <laughs> I love you actually a lot. We, sh- we got to play arms. Yeah. Um, do you have any siblings? Yeah. I yeah. have I have a sister, and uh, we've talked about your sister on the show yeah. minorly. Uh, she's nice. She's cool. Yeah. Uh, met her maybe twice. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have two siblings. I have an older sister and a younger brother, uh, yeah. and they're lovely, lovely people. Uh, my sister is a, is a psychology major. My brother is twelve, 
and he, he codes a lot. Yeah? Like, he codes a lot of Doom mods, like okay. original Doom mods. Sure. Uh, you know, that thing that sociopaths do. And then he also... <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. No. Uh, Modding's great. Yeah, no, no. He's He loves modding. He, he seriously knows how to code. I, yeah. Like, like, straight up. And I don't understand how he learned. Like, when he was, like fucking eight i walked into his room one time yeah and he was coding shit on roblox like coding <laughs> it was weird sure um so yeah next question uh if you won the lottery tomorrow what's the next thing you would buy um probably love of my peers i would actually probably invest it Jay. <laughs> yeah well <laughs> you know financial security is you know that's the, that's the wave of the future mm. no because like i don't know where would you invest it I would find a, a financial group to, to invest it in. Uh, I, I, you have to find a fiduciary who would invest it properly. <laughs> in, <fiduciary>. Okay. <laughs> it's pretty good. In low risk um, stocks and bonds. Wow, that's a really interesting, Jacob. That's what you do with when you get a shit ton of money, though. You don't just blow it on shit. <laughs> yeah, you do. No. You want a stable fucking future so you never have to work again. Yeah, I'd spend it all on Criticade. No. <laughs> wow. Okay. I'd buy hundreds of dollars in promotion for every single one of our videos. Wow. I don't think that would work actually, out. Actually, <laughs> here's a fun fact. I've actually thought about this before, and this is gonna this is gonna come across as me just being like, just like, oh, I love my friends. Yeah. Uh, various occasions when prompted with this question, I've always said I want to pay for Olivia's college. Oh, okay. Because she's she's always super, super stressed about college and money and stuff. Sure, and, sure. And I just, she's a good friend to me, and I want to give that back to her. Okay. If you invest that, you could Oh, pay. my God. <laughs> <laughs> Make smart financial decisions. Don't listen to Robert. Wait to invalidate the nice thing that I want to do. <laughs> fuck your friends. You can... <laughs> don't fuck your friends. More, uh, well, maybe well fuck yeah, friends, fuck your friends. Consensual. If they want to fuck you, fuck your friends. Yeah, don't make it weird, though. Just be friends. No. Just chill out. Maybe just ask one day, like... Do you want to fuck? And then, like, if they're like, yeah. And if, or if they're like, haha, then you're like, haha, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what I do with Jacob all the time. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you could be any person for a day, who would you be? What? I don't want to be anyone else. Fuck that. Uh, I want to be Will Smith for one day. You want to be Will Smith? Why? Yeah, I don't know why. I just. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I just want to know uh, what it's like to be really cool and hip for one day. Ah. Uh, <laughs> like 90s Will Smith. Like, I want to go back in time and be Will Smith in 1995. Oh, okay. I didn't know we could go back in time. Yeah, if you could be any person. I, I don't know. I assumed that it was anyone alive. I, I want, I would want to be Joan of Arc. Yeah? It's fucking Sick. fascinating. Yeah. She's awesome. Mm-hmm. I want to, actually, I want to be, I want to be Will Smith while recording uh, his role as Genie in the upcoming <laughs> Aladdin movie. <laughs> you think he's going to rap? Do you think he's going to include a rap in the, in the end credits like he used to? Maybe. He's got it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that'd be awesome. I'd love that. Uh, what's your biggest pet peeve? I'm not looking forward to that. Uh, I am. My biggest pet peeve? Um, shit. I don't know. Yeah, shit me, dude. Well. <laughs> shit me, dude. Yeah, shit. Me too, dude. No, I, kidding, I, I don't I know. know. I, I, I don't. I, I probably do have one. I can't think of one right now. Uh, say, I have tons of pet peeves. Sure. Uh, like my pet. <laughs> wow <laughs> that was fucking bad go to the next question <laughs> god damn it oh no Ugh. oh good okay so this Shit. is gonna end up perfectly we are exactly halfway through yeah and so so uh after the next couple of questions we're gonna be halfway through and we're gonna we're gonna cut it off and then the next week we we'll can do just do part same. two yeah okay that'd be fun yeah uh coffee or tea uh coffee a uh, d um where what? Else? <laughs> uh, to quote my favorite uh, uh, RuPaul's Drag Race uh, drag queen, Alaska Thunderfuck, I like black T, I like black D. Next, co- wait, fuck. I like that you Sorry. have a favorite drag queen. <laughs> I actually, I don't watch RuPaul, but I really like this one drag, drag star, yeah. drag queen named Alaska Thunderfuck. Okay. She's really, really funny. Nice. Uh, and I like her a lot. My my one of my RAs in college was actually a drag queen. Oh, cool! Yeah, he would do shows, and uh, he had like pictures and shit. It was it was Dope. pretty cool. Yeah. I, I'm friends with a drag queen on Facebook, and, nice. and and they're really they seem really cool. I don't actually talk to them. I'm just friends with them on Facebook. Okay, we're mutuals. Um, <laughs> where else would you consider living? Like, where do you where do you want to live? Uh, actually, I want to move to New York or L.A. I haven't decided yet. 
um, because I think that L.A., because uh, the entertainment industry is there, and I, I really like entertainment and, and everything, um, and New York, just because I really like big cities, and that's the biggest city in America. So, yeah. Kind of want to live in Gary Busey's asshole. I you want to move in. I, <laughs> I don't know how to respond. It seems like there are moments in my friendship with Robert where I just don't know how to continue. <laughs> I don't know where to go from here. <laughs> I am the I am the the non yes andable. The the yeah. For instance, a couple days ago, unbidden, he sent me a picture of. <laughs> Of Sonic and Shadow in like a really <laughs> yaoi pose. Yeah, put it up on the screen. <laughs> that just a couple. That was yesterday. Was it? It okay. was. Yeah. And I just, <laughs> I just responded no. <laughs> <In all caps>. <laughs> <laughs> and that's that's that sums up our friendship pretty, pretty well. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's really gross. Ah. <laughs> uh. Oh, anyway, oh, that's man. that's probably gonna end. Yeah, that's this. That's gonna be our episode. Of yeah. Criticast. So this this is our critic cast. Uh, keep that picture on the on the, the <laughs> for the for entire the rest time. Of the episode. Yeah. Okay. We'll we'll see you guys uh, and probably quote, next week. Crash Bandicoot, and as we say at the end of every episode here at Criticast. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's our tagline. Yeah. See you guys. <laughs> <laughs>